Hi everybody, I hope that you're blessed and that you're doing well. In this video, I wanna talk about how to stay sane in an insane world. There are a lot of scary and crazy things happening on the planet right now. And there are a lot of things in the world that are out of control, but guess what? You don't have to be one of them. There are many people who come up to me and they say, Sherry, how is it that you have such a calm disposition and demeanor? And I'm here to let you know that it takes work. Peace takes work. You have to cultivate your inner, inner being so that whatever's happening on the outside doesn't creep into the inside. So in this video, I'm gonna share the three things that help me to stay stable and balanced in this world that we live in. Now, before I get into those three things, I would like to invite you to become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. Also, share this video if you like the content and comment and of course, like it. I thank you in advance for your support. So let's get into the video and the topic at hand. So the first thing that you need to understand is that, and that I had to come to, to the conclusion in life, is that you can't let life happen to you. See, when you don't have a plan, when you don't understand your purpose in life, what will happen is uh, the world already has a plan for you. The world already um, thinks it knows what you should be and how much potential you should have. So when you leave it up to the world and when you don't have a plan and you don't understand your purpose, what will happen is you're going to end up with results in your life that you're not going to like. You're going to end up not reaching your full potential. You're not going to, you're going to end up not being as happy as you could be. So what happens is as we approach life in a way where we understand our purpose, when we have a plan and when we move in that direction every single day with Thanksgiving, with each day that God blesses us, what happens is a protective barrier begins to build in our soul. So when you have a purpose in life, what's happening on the outside, what's happening in the environment cannot creep in because you know who you are. You know where you're going. So no, no matter how wild and how crazy the world gets or how wild and crazy your environment is, it can't penetrate. But when you don't have a sense of purpose, when you don't know who you are, when you, don't, when you don't know where you're going, when you just roll out of bed and you're just breathing in air and paying bills and just waiting to die, what happens is you, be, you begin to become unstable. So people without a purpose, people without a plan, when they just are nonchalant about life, they begin to become unstable because the world that we live in is unstable. But when we are focused and when we know or when we're on a path, Stability comes. Peace comes. So that's the first thing. Don't let life happen to you. Have a plan. Have a purpose. The second thing is do good. Do good. There's, there was a study out of the University of Buffalo that said when people do good, it lengthens their life expectancy. Also, when we do good, we feel good. When we do good, there's other studies and research that says when we do good, we become less stressed. So doing good is good for us. The more people, the more people that do good, the more that you and I do good on the earth, the better the earth becomes. So the planet needs you to do good. The planet needs me to do good. The planet needs more of us to do good. So the world could become a better place. But when you do good, that also um, creates a protective barrier in your soul and in your spirit. Because guess what? When you do good, you're happier. And when you're happier, you worry less. So doing good is a good thing. Doing good, volunteering your time, giving your time, giving of resources, being a blessing to others. You bless your soul. You bless yourself. And God will bless you. So do good if you want to stay stable. Do good if you want to feel good. Do good if you want to worry less. So that's the second point. Do good. And finally, guard your peace. We have to guard our peace. There's so many things that's coming at us, so many things that are vying for our attention, so many things that are pulling us in so many different directions that we have to guard our innermost being. So the way I guard myself, the way I maintain my peace, the, the way I create balance in my life is through the process of elimination. So every so often, and sometimes daily, we gotta look at the things in our lives that's not uh, that's unproductive and that's not helpful or useful to us. It could be habits. 
It could be hanging around certain people. It could be partaking in, partaking in certain things. It could be certain thought patterns that we have. Are your thoughts serving you? The people around you, are they, are, are, are they serving for your good or for your bad, right? So you have to do the process of elimination. So the things that you're doing, the habits that you have daily, are they creating peace or, or is it creating chaos in your life? So if we do not guard ourselves and we, if we do not um, have an understanding of what's not serving us in our lives, the crazy will come in. It will creep in from the outside in. So that's how you protect yourself. You protect yourself by guarding your peace. Peace is a practice. Peace is something that you have to work for every day. Peace is not just going to come to you. You have to work for it and look for it and, and engage it every single day and do the activities that will bring that brings peace in your life. So if you're doing something that's stressful, if you're around people that's stressful, and even if you're in a job and a vocation that's bringing a lot of stress in your life, you're going to have to reevaluate that. So those are my three things. Don't let life happen to you. Do good and guard your peace. As always, I thank you for tuning into my video. I hope that this word has been uh, encouragement to you. And if you like the content, please share it. Take care. God bless. And I will see you in the next video. Mm-hmm.